Hey, this is Jamal and today I'll show you the most important things you need to know about light in RenderMan. To create light you have to right click this icon here and select Pixel Rect Light. The first parameter we'll be looking at is intensity. You see if we increase the number of intensity our light gets brighter but not too much. If you want your light to be more powerful you need to take higher numbers than just one or two. Exposure and contrast is very hard and strong. You see if we take the same number as before on intensity our light is much too hard even if we take a color. What I want to say with that is don't push exposure to the limit because it looks very hard and unnatural. In most cases it's the best way to increase the number of intensity. If you want to change the temperature of your light I recommend to make the color to white and enable temperature and increase or decrease the temperature number. This number is the Kelvin scale that means 1000 means very warm and 10,000 means very cold light. The first parameter in the refine tab is emission focus. The emission focus focuses the light in a smaller area and makes it much softer and the cone looks smaller than before. With emission focus tint you can tint the non-focused part of your light. This is a very cool artistic feature but mostly it's set to black. If you don't want to see any specular reflectation in your light, you can affect this while putting your specular amount down to zero. And if you want to see only your specular reflectations, you can put diffusion amount down and specular amount up to one. Intensity near distance means at which distance the mesh is being affected from the light. So you can see our light is very close to the light bulb and if we increase the number of intensity near distance our mesh is too close to be affected from the light. With cone angle you can affect surprise the angles of your cone and you'll see the edges are very hard but uh, you can soft those with cone softness. If we scale up our light, you can see our light gets much brighter than it was before. Um, that issue is no problem to us because we can go down to advanced tab and within this advanced tab, you'll see this little checkbox called normalize. And with this on, we can rescale our light and our light is as bright as it was before. But let's have a look at some other lights, for example this pixel distance light. This little R icon here is not the place from where your light is being emitted from. It only shows you from which angle of the distance your light is being projected. The setting options of pixel distance light and pixel rect light are nearly the same, except this little parameter here angle extent. If we increase the number of this our light is getting brighter so we have to decrease our intensity. But how you can see in this comparison our shadow is getting much softer than before. Another very important light is the Pixar Sphere light. Um, this is very cool because it emits light into every direction. If you want to see your light in the camera you can use this little checkbox here. The last light I'll be showing you today is the Pixel Disk light. This is nearly the same as the Pixel Rect light but you can see it's a disk and I very like them because you can use it to make a spotlight when you decrease the cone angle number to 40 or let's say 10 and increase the cone softness. And yes, these are the most important things to know about light in RenderMan. Next time I will show you some tricks and tips about lighting and how to build this scene here. Thank you for watching and see you the next time.